discussion on hypertrophic non obstructive cardiomyopathy with mitral regurgitation color doppler echocardiogram from parasternal long axis view in hypertrophic non obstructive cardiomyopathy showing a grossly thickened interventricular septum posterior wall of the left ventricle does not show much hypertrophy this type of hypertrophy is called asymmetric septal hypertrophy and is characteristic of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates a bluish mosaic colored jet of mitral regurgitation is seen in the left atrium during systole when the mitral wall is closed please note that there is no narrowing of the left ventricular outflow tract in systole the flow in the lvot is laminar without any mosaic pattern there is no systolic anterior movement of the mitral leaflet which is the most important cause of lvot obstruction in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy the frame on the left side is a diastolic frame with the mitral wall open left atrium is dilated twice the aortic diameter or more right ventricle and left ventricle are not enlarged left ventricular cavity may enlarge in the late dilated phase of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy tissue doppler imaging in hypertrophic non obstructive cardiomyopathy showing pattern suggestive of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction a prime during atrial systole is of higher amplitude than e prime during early diastole normally the e prime is of higher amplitude than a prime upper panel shows the color kinesis two dimensional image from the apical four chamber view which shows that tdi sampling is from the medial or septal mitral annulus an interesting case of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy initially thought to be non obstructive developing a gradient more than 100 mm of mercury with fall in arterial pressure in the post exercise period has been reported left ventricular outflow gradient did not occur at peak workload but an intraventricular gradient of 110 mm of mercury was documented in orthostatic position after exercise there was a fall in systolic blood pressure from 130 mm of mercury to 110 mm of mercury and the patient was then put in supine position it was associated with systolic anterior movement of the anterior mitral leaflet this was after 9 minutes of exercise on treadmill with standard drus protocol she gave history of syncope after playing basketball higher arrhythmic risk in non obstructive hcm than in obstructive hcm has been reported by liu and colleagues in their study of 705 hcm patients of which 230 had obstruction sustained ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation was more likely in non obstructive hcm they were more likely to have an implantable cardioverter defibrillator atrial fibrillation was most frequent in obstructive group here are a couple of journal references please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you